Damn, that's a lot of parries in this video. Bro, everyone just doing it, huh? A lot more people could die go parry. I don't know why. Stop. We've all seen Evo moment 37. So why is Justin getting parried in 2022? Over and over and over again. Today, Panda's giving us a history lesson and we've all been through, seen, watched, and some of us even attempted to recreate Evo moment number 37. And even though it happened in 1970, for 2000 BC. Why is Justin still getting smoked by this? Let me school y'all on something. If you smash that sub button, you're gonna get access to some amazing FGC content, Panda flavor. Now, let's get in the video. Esports highlights last forever. People always wanna celebrate the greatest plays of all time. But that also means that they're always gonna be there to remind the people involved of their past. So by the way, if you guys haven't seen this video yet, this video is about um evil moment 37 and i guess like everybody parrying my shit in 2022 being in a clip that gets shared over and over again can be one of the things that could make a player famous there it comes once again. Yes, there, it could make you famous and then make the other person not famous or maybe they both become famous from me i mean justin had a pretty great career even, even though he was on the bad end of the the parry you know what i'm saying this this is why i'm a commentator because I get to be a part of the moments, but not be in the moments. You know what I'm saying? Like someone's getting pieced up. He gets the hit and that's it. <sighs> you know, I get to be that guy, you know, in the, in the background. Even if that moment is uncharacteristic or a one-off or even something they'd later Ooh, get revenge. Okay, Wolf Crone. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I was on commentary for Justice 2 on the other side of the building while this was happening. Definitely next to Ultra David, like, yo, like mid mid commentary for it. Just as yo, K Brad just beat Wolf Crone. <laughs> but for North American fighting game master Justin Wong, the past is all around him all the time. Oh, they they they, they chose the Mugen version of A3 to show. The past is all around him. Oh my all god, the time. bro! But that's not even a that's a Mugen game. You getting parried, Mugen? There's just one. Let's go. Little problem. The biggest clip in the fighting game community, and maybe in competitive gaming history, shows Justin Wong oh. getting absolutely destroyed. Oh. Destroyed! Justin Wong getting absolutely destroyed. I don't think I've ever seen this with the camera like that. Like, with, bro, my man Justin was mashing buttons. Look at him, look at him. I've never seen it, he's mashing. <laughs> you see the pain on his face? He's like, y'all have to show this. Y'all, it's good. That one moment has always followed. <laughs> oh, Harper. No, Harper's cute. This is not that. that. <laughs> oh my God. That's so toxic. <laughs> Whoever said that is either a terrible person. Or one of Justin's best friends ever in life. So good. Oh my God. Does everyone just know how to do this? Oh, he didn't do the whole thing. Yeah, he cheated. He cheated. He cheated. That don't count. You think people just like wait on like fight fight K just to do this to Justin? And I always tell people that I'm a Ken player. Emotional damage. Bro, I I be telling people I'm the Ken player if they don't know. And it began when he was basically a kid genius for fighting games. This is this picture, like you said, August twelfth, two thousand and two, bro. I I you know where that belt that belt, bro? You see that belt? Triforce Game Master has my belt. I want that belt back. He went on to win a world record nine Evo titles across three different games. Crazy. He also racked up some incredible Crazy. comeback wins, which led fans to create yes, the Come on, what are we talking about? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no, that just never not be funny, bro. That's too good. The weird thing is that despite all of his incredible achievements, for most of the esports community, many of whom don't even care about fighting games at all, Justin's name will for- Is that necessary? We know that we know esports don't care about us. We the, we the cousin. 
we show up to the function, they they like, who is this? Damn, it's a lot of parries in this video. Ah! It's a. I was mashing, bro. You see, you know, you see, you see me mashing as a kid. I was mashing. The climax of Evo Moment Thirty Seven literally starts with the words, "Let's, Let's go, go, Justin." Justin. <laughs> Let's go, Justin. It's like a curse you invoke. When you want someone to lose, you go, let's go and their name. Even getting as far as he did at Evo 2004 in Third Strike. Damn, Daigo didn't even win. <laughs> I'm weak. Did you know that was possible back then? Yo, what's up, Silent Scope? So you know how back in the day, there was no social media. There was, it's very hard to transfer information. It, it is obviously parryable, right? Because nobody can do it. Everyone just say, no, nah, it's, it's unparryable. It's, it's like a guarantee win, a win move, right? So that's that's the conception of Chung Li's SA2 back in the day. Look at oh my god, why is it before the blacks? But look, that's I promise this video Nah, bro. I didn't know that. That just makes it 10 times worse. Bro, you got your whole life red and the I don't even want to watch the rest of this. That's 37. Not really. Uh oh, this this is a familiar stage. This is very familiar. This is like my favorite edit. This one right here is so good. Let's go, Justin! Oh, s no! Okay, okay. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Yo, please. Lifetime of PTSD. Oh. And just two hours after getting hit by the most legendary parry in fighting game history, Justin walked over to the Marvel 2 tournament and absolutely destroyed the competition. But he <laughs> you know he was feeling some sort of way. Like, he probably had flashes in the future, and he was like, if I got to deal with this later on in my life, I want to hurt somebody now. I want somebody to feel that pain right now. So let me head on over to this next tournament and just smoke everybody. Yeah, so me and Executioner were like the only like East Coast players in this top eight. Two, people didn't love his defensive turtle style and how willing he was to play for time. Everyone knows me as a lame player. You know, I like to wait the time out. Always goes to zero or something. That's facts. And it's true. I love playing lame. Okay, he, he admitted it. <laughs> Resident Sleeper, Resident Sleeper. Every time I gotta commentate this guy's match, it's Resident Sleeper. No, I'm just kidding. I actually like, I like Justin's lane play, but I could, there's, it's definitely hard to, 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 uh, to watch if you're like not like a, a fighting game fan that understands like why lane play is beautiful. I love it. Defensive play is so much harder than rushdown, and I will die on that hill forever. Defense is harder in everything. That's why I always thought in my head that the super cannot be parried. This is an instant guarantee chip damage because parrying all those hits, it just seems impossible. But while Evo Moment 37 has remained an important... <laughs> you thought. Life, maybe <laughs> and he really thought. Whether because of the clip, ooh, the ooh. release of Street Fighter 4 in 2009, or something else, the average level of play in the FGC has risen. For one thing, a lot more people can do the Daigo parry now. Between a lot more people can a lot more people can die go parry i don't know why stop whoa you you, you spitting some you spitting some facts that people don't want to see but we are this is a discussion you put this on twitter that's instant discourse right there i ain't gonna say which way don't put that in pen. <laughs> I'm gonna get in so much trouble. Moment 37 at home. Now, to be fair, it's still really hard to do this if you aren't no. The flex on you? I mean, look at our resident FGC boomer Josh trying to pull it off. Uh, uh, uh. He said, uh, uh, uh. He said, uh, uh, uh. And even uh, uh, Justin uh. tried his hand at it recently. One, two, three, four, five, six, six seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You gotta count. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, you yes. always gotta count, baby. My man did his own. He did his own demise. <laughs> if I was Justin, I would just never do it ever. I don't even give up the satisfaction. But on the other hand, you could be like, you know what? This is actually free. It was not impressive at all. If I, oh, but only Justin could say that. Oh, Bro, what? everyone just doing it, huh? My man. That was a sick punish, though. You see that? Oh, that's the one I'm surprised my about. Man. It hit a cross. My man hit that cross up. That's crazy, bro. 
That is crazy. This L's for me. He's a dad now, and he spends a lot more time creating content. That's actually a cute ass picture. He also spends a lot of time. Oh God, why they gotta show Aquaman, bro? I hate this character so much. And the same thing happened to Marvel Three. People loved him for playing a team that many saw was suboptimal. And that nah, that team was trash. <laughs> it was trash. Only he could make it work. <laughs> that team garbage. And that didn't stop him from pushing on. This is true. A lot of people loved me during the Marvel Three era. Like so many people loved me because I played I played Wolverine and Storm Akuma. Because when that happened, everyone started playing fighting games more seriously again, especially Third Strike. Because Third Strike was definitely a dying game in the merch. Thank you. I feel like people forget that Third Strike was not loved. There's a weird, uh, you know, historical uh, rewrite that people love to do with Third Strike where they're like, man, Third Strike was like the best game out there. And no, that game was either you hated or loved Third Strike back in the day. Third Strike was considered a flawed game that was running out of time. Street yeah, Street everybody in NA hated Third Strike, by the way, before the Diego Perry. Like, this game was not popular at all. Perry may have been hyped. Actually, scratch that. Perry was hyped. Perry, ah, uh, hold on now. Scratch that. Perry is still hyped. Perry is one of the best mechanics. I love Perry. I think that is like one of the coolest things a fighting game can add, but it's so hard to balance. So it's understandable why you don't see it a lot. However, it is one of the coolest things in fighting games. Bro, I would be so tight. Also, Perry is definitely hype in third strength because like you have to hold forward. Like you miss that, you die. We might not be Daigo, but no, no, we are not Daigo. That might, we are not Daigo. <laughs> yeah, a lot, a lot of people's moment, a lot of people's reason of picking up Third Strike or fighting game is because of Moment Thirty Seven. But were you salty? It happened in person. No, I don't think I was salty in person. I was like, damn, that was godlike. Like, you know, I couldn't believe it. And that's why Justin keeps running into these randos online. They're inspired by esports greatest moments to make him relive his tragedy. <laughs> he got it? You think he got it, bro? You think he died, though? You ain't died. You can just say for clout. It's oh, just for clout. <laughs> they want to be in a panda he video. Died, Let's be real. You want to be in a panda video. He died, though, no. <sighs> this guy, you know, the crazy part is, like, why did he have to finish the, the, the combo, though? Like, you know what I mean? He could have just done heavy DP, right? He could have just done heavy DP. And it would have killed. But he said, nah, let me do the Daigo punish. He really had to do the Daigo punish. That's the funniest part. We wanted to relive history, right? It's all worth it. But there's so many players out there that a lot of people just never heard of or don't know or just never even paid attention about. And that's kind of like my goal is to kind of like showcase that there are other like really great fighting game players out there besides like the ones that you probably know from Google. You're a good right? man. So, you know, You're a good man, like Justin. Names, but like there's a lot of killers out there. And so for the rest of us, we're going to keep trying. That's a fact. Because there's, there's a lot of good players, but right? it's we hard to keep up with everyone. We might Everybody only know the people who, you know, win in every tournament and getting top eight all the time. But there's some people who don't make top eights all the time that is uh, really amazing. All about. And as long as there are people out there willing to be tested, Justin is probably going to keep sacrificing himself. Sacrificing himself. Like, why am I so scared of that, right? <laughs> oh my God, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't, that that still don't count my book. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was pretty fun to make and pretty fun to watch and see, you know, to score esports do their little thing on Justin right there. Something about the Daigo Perry, it'll just, it'll never be recreated. There'll be a moment in a game that has like a defensive mechanic like that with so much on the line and so little resources and no room for error. It's It'll happen eventually. When? I don't know. It's already been 16, 17, 18 years. So when that day happens, I hope I'm still around for it. I hope I'm there in the building. And I hope whoever it happens to is able to take that and, and make it something. Take it in stride the same way Justin did. If you're trying to get people into fighting games, that's probably one of the best places to, to start to explain why that's so cool and you go from there. So, you know, now you guys know. Right, the purpose of, of Evil Moment 37, even if you do take a loss, try to turn it into a success, try to turn it into something fun, make it turn it into a positivity. Every loss 
can be turned around into such greatness in general. So make sure you guys hit the like, share, subscribe button, turn on the bell notification, and we'll see you at the next video.